Hey everybody, this is 8-Bit Miker here, welcoming you to the video. Uh, basically, what I want to start doing is, I want to start creating like, um, command line, Linux, bash, mini tutorials. I really want to start growing the Techalicious uh, YouTube channel, but um, it's just really hard sometimes to get like the time, allocate the time to uh, create one of these videos, especially when I'm animating talking heads and doing all this kind of stuff. But I was thinking maybe I'm just going to do really short, really like concise videos and we'll see what happens. Um, I'm kind of babbling right now, so let's get into it. So basically, what we're going to do is, as I said, we're going to do some tutorials related to Bash. Now, what's Bash? Bash is a Unix shell environment. Now, when I say Unix, I also mean Linux. So basically, it's Unix-like systems. Now, the shell provides you with an interface to a Unix-like system. Uh, a shell is an environment in which you can run things like commands, programs, shell scripts and there are different shells just like how there are different operating systems so as I said we're gonna focus on bash which stands for the born again shell now I guess in uh, in this tutorial we're just gonna find out how do you know if you're even running bash so I'm right now in my um, shell and uh, I'm on Ubuntu Ubuntu I don't really know how to pronounce it. I should figure that out for next time. Uh, 1604. And um, basically, I'm going to find out how, uh, what shell I'm running here. So Unix has some special characters. And one of those special character is the dollar sign, dollar sign. So what's going on here? Echoing. I'm echoing, so I'm printing back to the screen, and I'm printing back this variable. And what it's going to do, it's going to interpolate the variable, and basically all that means, I don't know what the actual definition, but think of variables like placeholders, and they're getting replaced with their corresponding value. So this dollar sign, dollar sign contains a very special value, and what's the value? It basically contains the process number of the current shell. Now what's that? So there's a lot of expl explaining here, explanation required, isn't there? So uh, a process is basically whenever you run a program, you initiate a new process. And every process is identified by a number known as a process ID or a PID. So there's a program called PS, and this is uh, stands for process status. And uh, it's a command used to provide information about the currently running processes, okay? And it also reports back on their PIDs. So if I give it uh, PS and I put, simply put in the dollar sign, dollar sign, we're going to find out that, as you can see, the PID is the same on that there's a column for PID and we're running bash. So in this instance, yes, we are running bash. And I guess that's it for the first tutorial. Um, very, very short. Well, not really, because there's a lot of explaining going on. Hopefully, the next ones will be more exciting. Uh, one more thing. This isn't a permanent way of doing it, but if that said something else under the command besides bash, you can just type in bash, and basically bash would be invoked, and that's your new shell. But we're going to do a lot more interesting things in subsequent tutorials. So sit back, enjoy the ride. That's it for now. Feel free to subscribe and like the video, and thank you for watching. And also, I'm going to post this on our website at techalicious.club, and there's all kinds of tutorials that I'm going to be posting there as well. And uh, that's it. See you next time.